How you guys doing? Ben here. Good to see you again or for the first time. Um, you seem like a really nice person. I'm glad we're doing this. Um, this is a song called uh, Keep Me In Your Heart. It's a Warren Zevon song um, who was an amazing songwriter. <coughs> you know, his, his uh, career started in the 70s, but he actually died in 2003 and he was still writing and recording music. Anyway, beautiful song, Keep Me In Your Heart. Um, and it goes like this. The song's in the key of G. Starts with this driving eighth note rhythm. <coughs> Excuse me, driving eighth note rhythm. Shadows are falling and I'm running out of breath. Keep me in your heart for a while. Just because I leave doesn't mean I love you any less Keep me in your heart for a while Alright, so that is much of the song, much of the accompaniment of the song are those three chords really. It starts with the G major chord which I'm playing with my third finger on the third fret of the second string to give it this more shimmery sound as opposed to the normal what we're doing here, we're changing the G chord to a G major 7th chord. We're walking the G on the first string down to an F sharp, which gives it this sound. And I'm taking my first finger and pulling it down from the 5th string, where it would usually be. Create that sound. After that, there's a C chord. But again, in the spirit of the song, which is kind of it's a beautiful song, open and airy with um, again these kind of shimmery chords. We're gonna play a C, but leave our third finger on this third fret of the second string. Now that's called a C add nine chord. What we're doing is we're adding the ninth note of the C major scale to the top of this chord. Sounds like this as opposed to. It also sounds nice going from the G to the C. There you have it. I'll do it one more time together uh, uh, through the song. Shadows are falling and I'm running out of breath. Did the normal C there. There's the C add nine. Just because I leave doesn't mean I love you any heart for a while. There's one more section to the song, a bridge section, uh, which goes to the C, it's out of time, to the G, to the D, to the G. C, G, D, and turns it into a D seventh chord flipping this D major chord into a D seventh chord, which is almost the exact reverse of it. The, the triangle is going to point a different way from here to a D seven. All right, we're going to have a practice video for that, and thanks so much for watching. Thank you for learning with me today. Um, if you want to check out any of the other songs that I've done, click on the links that are all around me right now. If you have any requests, send them to uh, requests at mahalo.com.